What's up, podcast? Episode number 75, part two. Um, this is part two of episode 75, so please go back to the first part, give that a listen, and come back to this one. Um, and I also wanted to give you guys a little treat here in the beginning. Uh, we have a couple bonus episodes on Patreon, so uh, I want to give you a clip of one of those. So go to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash NYC. Also, go to iTunes, review us, do the stuff. Tell your friends about this podcast. It's a good podcast if you like streetwear. So we're trying to get the word out. Um, but here's a clip of a special episode that we have available only on Patreon between me and Frank the Butcher. Um, and then it'll go right into the episode. So 75, part two, now. I mean, first I was depressed, but when I came up out of that, it took me a long time to get up out of that. But when I, when I, when I started really realizing what was in front of me, I was left with some motivation. Right. Right. And that's step one. Step two, I was a young dad. We trying to figure things out. We had kids early. You know what I mean? And um, so money wasn't plentiful. Right. And when he passed away, he left behind a, a truck. So even the physical leaving behind a vehicle gave me gave me a resource to you know to explore this opportunity i got you okay started yeah, yeah. driving from Worcester to boston you know what i mean i took some time off from the job that i was at i asked for for you know to be laid off because you know i was just not in a happy place they they obliged they understood and i kind of went to go pursue something i didn't right. know what it was you know uh-huh. um and i met some guys that you know were doing a, a podcast called the weekly drop which was the mm. first um I mean, for one, I never heard of a podcast at that point. Like, I literally, what, you know. What year is this again, you 2005. said? 2005. That's early in there the There wasn't any game. podcast networks or even an app. Were they calling it a podcast? Like, yeah, we called it a podcast. Wow, yeah, It okay. was called a podcast, and you'd have to go to the site and download it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. like there was a link. There wasn't yeah. no service that would update a new There's episode. There no SoundCloud or no, anything? No, no, there was RSS none of that. It's 2005, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and one of, the, one of the hosts is Jeff Carvalho that works at High Snobody. He's mm-hmm. one of the top guys over there. Shout and he's always kind of been... Ahead of the curve when it comes to shit like that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it's just interesting, man. Like Chris, I don't, I, I've never seen, not I've never seen no shit, but I, I just feel like this is where we're at already, man. Where shoe on his first day starts out at a thousand dollars. First I day, I, it's gonna, it's gonna be very interesting when this pops. I don't see it popping though. I mean, no one really saw anything pop until it actually happened. You know what I mean? Like no one's expecting that the bubble to burst on. Most things where the bubble bursted. I just don't. I don't know when, when sneakers are gonna fucking like. You know, it's super interesting for us too because we're we're older than the we're falling out of the culture quote. You know what I mean? I ain't like, falling out of shit. No, but you get what we're saying. I'm we're, staying in this motherfucker. <laughs> we're not. In I the, ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Shut up for a second. Lawrence Lowe's is here to stay. We're. Not. I just bought some fucking. Camo cargo pants so I can look hip like you young motherfuckers. <laughs> I am staying, Chris. Sorry. Next topic. No, what no, are you gonna say? <laughs> no. You and I are gonna. This is what like we didn't start doing this because of hype or anything. We start. We were doing this from the beginning. Um, but we're falling out of the active part of the culture where you and I like we're already doing it. We're just talking heads where we don't probably do as much as we used to do. You know what I mean? We're commenting on it for sure because it's conversations we'd have anyway. Mm-hmm. But we're fall. We're kind of falling out of it. Um. It just blows my mind that the like at some point these kids are gonna fall out of it. So what, like are they gonna keep growing? So shoes are two thousand dollars on the first day? Nah, mm-hmm. this is gonna this this part of the hype like trend is gonna fall out of being trendy at some point. You know what I mean? It can't stay like this forever. It's not gonna only get higher. Because at what point are people gonna be like, I'll drop two thousand dollars for a set in black toe? It's gonna be more. So what's gonna happen is those people are gonna get out. Yeah. There's gonna be some new kids that's gonna enter the game. Yeah. Bro, this game is pimping everyone until the, the end of time, bro. Some people stay in the game. Some people get out the game. But motherfuckers is here to stay, bro. If that makes sense. Like you, like all oh, is you know what point does it burst? It's like nah, dude. The kid who is 20 years old and trading everything or buying everything, he may become 25 and 30. Yeah. But there's going to be a kid now who's 10 years old. In 10 years, he's going to want all the shit that he missed out on. I'm telling you, bro, the game just doesn't. It's not going to. Uh, you know what? We, right. I've, you know how long I've said, yo, this game can't be like this. People are not going to spend three grand on a pair of sneakers. But people do, bro. Well, all right, here. This is this is something I'll say, too. It may be, um, it may be a minority, but there's people who spend. And when I say minority, I mean a minority uh, amount of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, you know. Um, wh- 
how do I put this? Well, I feel like a lot of this stuff that we're seeing is is not real. I feel like it's a phase in people's lives where they kind of like Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin got real hot for a second, so everyone was touching Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is just an expanded version where people see the interest in shoes and they get into it just to be in, involved and not actually care about the shoes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is why I think reselling is so high right now. Because mm-hmm. celebrities just want to be seen in the hot shoe. They don't necessarily care about it. Got gotcha. you. Right. Um, they'll get out of that phase. That's a phase of their career where they're just like, oh, I need to be the hip guy. You know what I mean? But then there'll be new celebrities. Yeah, but I'm saying like stuff like Instagram and just for the just for the photo is a part of why this is so hype right now. I'm I think sure. when people realize that social currency isn't that valuable, like, you know, when that bubble pops, this bubble will also pop with it. And no one's going to want to pay $1,000 for a pair of shoes. I I I, I disagree. I feel like we. Um, Why? Well, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, let us know what you guys think, man. You know, um, but I don't. I just don't think that it's. Uh, I think people are. There's always going to be someone, if that makes sense. It may not yeah. be just because how you feel now in 2019 doesn't mean that you know you may not feel that way in three years. But there may be someone now who's getting money who's like, oh fuck, I missed out on. I always wanted these. Yeah. Now I got the money. You know what I mean? That's what a lot of that's what a lot of single heads are. A lot of people who buy shit. That's where they come from. You know what I mean? Like you didn't have the money five years ago. Now you got the money, and you're like, ah, oh, these are grails. I wanted these. I couldn't afford them. You know what I'm saying? So the shit just yeah. never. It's like I feel like people always say it's gonna it's gonna bust, but bro, it's gonna stay. It's here to it's here to stay for. Now here's the thing. I think uh-huh. I, I think I think um, certain certain models like where all right like a yeezy model right people was like you know if you got a pair of yeezys you know five years four years ago three years ago yeah you could sell them shits you know you pay yeah we've talked about and, this and, before and like pay, the first ones that dropped off were kind of like still solid you're out paying here. two grand yeah you know i mean now obviously that that bubble part is burst so well are you you know you're saying like well i think it's just going to completely do that for all nah because nike knows how to fucking market itself to the point where Certain shit is gonna fucking do numbers. It is interesting to think about. So, like, when you and I are out and we get a compliment from like an older guy, say they're like, "Oh, those I played in those." Like yeah. yesterday, I had a homeless guy come and ask me for money. Before he did, he I was wearing my Iversons, my the zip, the fours, and he was like, "You still you got the ones with the honeycomb too?" I'm like, "Oh yeah," and he's like, "Can I have a dollar?" I was like, "Sorry, man, you know whatever." But uh, it was a weird thing to me where like he was like, "Oh, Iverson the player," you know what I mean? But now it's more music focused. Like you were just talking about Kanye. Like so, art like so rappers homeless, are going to be the a new homeless athletes. dude. Saw your sneakers, yes, and was like, "Oh, I, I the honeycombs. I used to play in those." Yeah, and then he asked you for money. Yeah, jeez. Well, he was like, "Yo, you also got the." I think he was talking about the questions, the first ones. That's mm-hmm. why I assumed the hexalite is the honeycomb. I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. So yeah, and I had those, but it was it was interesting to me because he was like he identified with the player. And you were just talking, this hit me in this weird moment where you, you know, he's talking about the player with me. I used to play in those. Now we're talking about the longevity of like the game and where the sneakers are going to be. And you're talking about Kanye. That's a musician. Travis Scott's coming out with a, he's got like four different shoes out now, Mm -hmm. right? It's going to be weird when like kids that are buying them now, going to be our age, be like, yo, those Travis Scott's. Like, is he even going to be that relevant? You know what I mean? Like, the music, like, remember when that song, remember Sicko Mode? That's the one and thing. They're talking I mean, about Air Force Ones for Travis Scott. That's one thing I think and and I think in the next, you know, 10 15 years that we will never be able to debate in terms of Kanye's influence and relevance in the game. Oh, dude, it's insane. Um because we're talking a guy who for the past 14 15 years yeah has been the I'm not going to say the face but he's been he's been one of the faces of uh, pop culture and, and fashion. Yeah, and where even models that he didn't design to this day go for lucrative money. Stuff yeah. that he was like photographed in. You can cut off at uh, Nike Kanye, and it's still like he's he's solidified, bro. I mean, and Nike Kanye includes Louis Vuitton, includes Reebok, all that other stuff. But up until that point, bro, he fucking. Babes staple. Babesters. He will he has the Kanye yep. Bapes. And people to this day, those are grails, man. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I think Trav people are like Trav is hot. Trav's the hottest right now like yeah. guy in terms of the way Nike's marketing him and the way like everything's going for him. But it's like Trav is like 
what two years maybe into you know being that guy and uh yeah i would say like that i mean rodeo kind of put him on people started paying attention and then what was his sophomore sophomore was uh birds and traps yeah night. that's probably when he really got solidified as being like that guy yeah once i think you know uh goosebumps yes was uh you know that was that's probably one of his probably his biggest one of his biggest commercial hits prior to sicko but yeah. i mean but i mean in terms of being a a, a guy that can command a collab and and where people go and crazy for it trav is probably like a year and a half two into it it's very interesting though because like all right so 20 years from now someone's gonna be wearing the travis scott like sixes or whatever and then some guy's gonna be like travis scott well i mean we don't <laughs> we don't know if 20 years if, if the sixes can survive 20 years i mean you know oh that's true did you see that they got that yellow colorway though he's doing another one yeah i did see i did see um so that's gonna be his fifth he's got cactus four uh, the Air Force One, um, the the low and the high one, and then uh, I guess yeah, and then six. So that would be did, this did, will be a sixth. He did a thirty-three. Oh yeah, that's right. Did a thirty-three. Oh, he's got a lot. Yes, he has an Air Force One. Another Air Force One coming out soon. Uh huh. But he uh, he's released what, two Air Force One colors. I mean, he's definitely like I said, he's he is becoming the guy that Nike is. Uh, is enamored enamor with him. People are, you know, jumping into what he's doing. So. Yeah. Well, shout out Travis Scott, man. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, we brought up, uh, I forget, you said something. Oh, you were talking about, like, how Nike makes, like, Timberland um, colorways at some point. But yeah, then, they, uh, make, uh, they make wheat Air Force Yeah, the ones. wheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But did you see Timberland's doing a SpongeBob collab? Yes, I did. All right, so who is that for? I understand Kyrie doing a SpongeBob collab because you can get some cool Kyries out of that, but who the fuck is going to wear Timberland SpongeBob fucking Tims? People. No. People. No one's wearing that. Not me, but people. Have you seen them? I, I did see them, yes. They're so bad. I, once again, I mean, bro, like, I'm not wearing SpongeBob anything, but people will wear SpongeBob Kyries. Who? Let me Timberlands. Paint me a picture of who this person is. A fucking twelve year old kid. Twelve year old. I don't think I don't think a grown man. Hopefully, I pray a grown man's not. No, one. if you're over twelve and you wear those, but they probably need. What, how old, what size is twelve year old? Pause. I don't know. I was. Uh, I think when I was twelve, I probably was like uh, nine. And a half. I was probably like a ten. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a weird. I don't know about that one. Um, you, you might have to get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what? You know what else I wanted to talk about that was weird. This is a good weird. This is a good weird. Well, talk to me. Um, so now I'm not gonna harp on it, but I think I've been pretty correct when it comes to leaning as far as them progressing and kind of coming along and doing pretty well. Y'all should see my face right now. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just interested because this is a new idea. Because I think New Balance is seeing it, the the value of breaking their normal mold of how they make a shoe. Because I saw this shoe. And um, it's called like the Fresh Foam Moors or something, but I've never seen a New Balance look like this before. This looks more of like a An Adidas. Yeah, but I fucking like this shoe. That's all right. They've never made anything like this. They abandoned the N branding on the side completely. It actually, it kind of looks like uh, there's a Jordan that's kind of out that's like this now too, where they got like this ripstop upper. It's very molded. It's very uh, out of. Uh, the bur- the normal branding that New Balance does you you don't think so it, it to- that's what I said it totally is it's yeah not, it's not some like I said you look at the bottom and and it has that boost like quality to it yeah kind of, they're really going off the they're doing the honeycomb thing too that's normally like a Reebok branding thing but um, this is super interesting to me and I just wanted to make a note of it because I've never seen them do anything like this and I kind of want to pay attention to what they're doing with stuff like this moving forward. Because this is smart of them. They got to get out of the dad shoe thing. Because it's a fad right now, but they'll get caught in it. Oh, wait. New Balance got to get out of the dad? I think a little bit, yeah. No, that's what they I'm not saying they don't do them. I'm saying just like you got to expand your horizon now. Not, bro, that's what they That's what they do. That's what they're known for, bro. There are, there are millions of 40-year-old white guys who are like New Balance is where it's at. Yeah, but they also have like fashion heads in Milan wearing them or whatever too. Like New Balance is an expanded brand. But yeah, I'm but saying New that ba- like New Balance you- is – New Balance has so many different models, bro, that are like 
just not dad shit. They have New Balance models at three fifty or retail. Yeah. So as I'm saying, I get what you're saying, but it's like if that's, I don't think dad shoes will ever go out of style. No, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm I never once wanted to think that they, I'm telling they should stop doing what they're doing. I'm mm. just saying if they want to keep because they're in a position now where they have more eyes on them than they've had in years. Okay. With the dad shoe trend. You know okay. what I mean? Because like they kind of fell into that. They the, that's like a trend that they saw happening, and then mm. people started catering to New Balance stuff of again. Course, of they were like, "Oh shit, this is awesome!" Okay, it's fell in our lap. Mm-hmm. I think this is them capitalizing on like, "All right, we can expand into the other markets where these people came from, and hit them when they leave the dad shoe." Because it's not gotcha. gonna. I'm not saying that they're gonna stop making dad shoes. Like, keep doing your thing. That's keep your doing, core yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, that's your core. Yeah. But all these people coming in for the dad shoe trend are going to go back out. And they need something for them when they land. When they land okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying I saw this and I was like, oh, shit, that's mm. fire. That's all it yeah, was. No, no, okay. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it, it totally is something out of the realm of what, uh, what's the name What's the name of that brand? What's I mean, not brand. What's the name of that model? Does oh, have- this is, yeah, it's got a weird name, too. It's a Fresh Foam More. Let me see. It's. I guess they usually don't have it as a high top, but this one they have as a high top. Oh, it's so basically the the the, the New Balance calls it an ultra modern mashup combining massive plushness and wild head turning style. Yeah, it's a total. It looks almost as if you would see one. Of, it's one of those designer shoes that you would see at fucking Neiman Marcus or uh, Nordstrom. One of those designer sneakers. It definitely, yeah. I wonder what the, the price tag on it is because I'm sure it's not. Wait, let me see if we can find that out here. Uh, 180. 180, which is, yeah, which is pretty. Uh, Pretty reasonable. Yeah, I mean, so it's a weird, ugly looking, weird. Well, it's a weird shoe, but it's it's not bad. No, it's not. I just kind of like when they because they broke the. I mean, look, I, now I just hopped on the website, the regular mm-hmm. website. The f- top eight shoes in here, I just clicked on them. They all have the heavy, like hard and branding on the side. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, this is the one that kind of I think is universally like considered the best shoe at the moment right now. The nine ninety V five. Okay. Because that's the ones that, I, like, models, and I've seen, like, they they ran, fa- when during Fashion Week, motherfuckers were wearing those, like, crazy. 990? Okay. Yeah, and then that's also, like, what Bobby Kelly's buying now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these are the, like, these hit everywhere. Yeah. Try, every time I see Trey, the owner of A-Life, I f- he's wearing these things, too. He's wearing, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, they're super comfortable. Yeah, super, super comfy. But, mm-hmm. like, compared to the other one, it's, like, just such a drastic change. I mm-hmm. just wanted to point that out. Because uh, they're really doing a good job on capitalizing the people that are coming in to see them for the dad shoe trend. I get it, yeah, the fucking dad shoe trend, bro. Yeah, this is a this is a the Nike slingback, bad execution on a popular uh, look. Uh, New Balance doing the right thing here with their that, that basketball looking model. I mean. Them, mm, also, I just realized that they, they probably doing that stuff for Kawhi too. Kawhi's kind of probably like, yo, can I get some shit that I can walk around in? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can uh, I get some? Can I get some off end shit? I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't know if Kawhi is uh, making them, but I'm sure they. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, he's not. They, in, he's not in there with the guys drawing. But yeah, I'm no, I would hate to see a Kawhi <laughs> drawn uh, model, but yeah, I, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you you got to realize that you know you, you're trying to hit your different core and different demographics with, with, with your shoes man so eh, it's uh it's kind of that's what's up i like it <laughs> I, I like it um but what about um as our main supreme correspondent do you have any update on there yeah they dropping uh new lookbook should be uh here soon yeah bro. i saw the teaser where they're uh making snake charmers hype yeah and they also uh they're doing a uh i think a reflective uh box logo uh okay uh hoodie uh there's some stuff that's coming out i mean we once again we gotta see the lookbook i think fall winter is always better than uh than uh spring summer um yeah and i think well because of the heavy layered pieces yeah that's yeah. what i'm saying so i'm looking forward to seeing what they uh what they hit us with and shit but uh anyone that says that s- summer is better for fashion uh is stupid yeah. it's always fall winter Fall winter is the shit, bro. Fall winter for for clothes is the fucking shit. Yeah, fall winter is way better. Anytime you can knock out, uh, you can get hoodies and you can get long sleeve tees and all that other shit. So I'm I am excited to see what they hit us with. Uh, I mean that lookbook should be here. I mean that should we should be able to see that shit soon because th- there's been a lot of uh, leaks. Yeah, it might be up now. No, it's not up now. No? I know that much. Uh, oh, okay, it's probably probably gonna release. Uh, I'm I'm thinking maybe tomorrow Monday the uh, or Tuesday, but we should definitely get something soon. Yeah, today is the 18th, Sunday the 18th. Um, 
I saw that there was another fake Supreme store opened up in China, but it was just for tea. Really? Yeah, it's a Supreme tea shop, which is funny because it's teas. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, someone in China is laughing at Supreme so hard because they're like, all right, there's already a fake t-shirt shop. Let's make Let's make teas. teas. <laughs> Supreme teas. <laughs> and they're actually reasonably priced. I looked at it. I mean, tea uh, at retail is, uh, the, the margin is huge anyway because it's tea. Tea, tea. is so yeah, cheap yeah, to yeah, make. Yeah. Like, a $3 tea is uh, outrageous. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. should be fighting every <laughs> fucking coffee shop that sells three dollar teas. That's a lot of money for a tea. You know what I'm saying? I understand. But I guess like this, it it's the same price here. There. Yeah, I mean when you go when for you, Supreme <laughs> Tea. Come on, you don't think that's funny? I think it, I mean that shit is hilarious. <sighs> I got no no comment, man. <laughs> Supreme Tea. <laughs> no comment. Um, but yeah, hopefully when the shit comes out, we got some flash shit. Uh, Reflect, wait, reflective box logo. So you saw? I didn't see this leak. Is it on a white tee or a black tee? No, no, no. It's on a, it's on a sweatshirt. Oh, oh, oh! I got you. So, so <clears throat> there's a. Uh, Let me see. Oh, okay. Just some regular shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, the guy has a chest hit though. No, it doesn't have a chest hit. Yeah, no, it's on the. Oh, it's, oh, it's on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they don't normally do that. They don't normally have it uh, justified left. No, they don't. Usually, it's uh, it's usually center. Yeah. So let's see how this one plays out. But yeah, it's a reflective logo. I'm looking forward to seeing what they got. Yeah. I mean, I don't. You know, I'm not gonna be out here. There's no. That's remember, like you were saying, like the bubble and shit. Yeah. I don't think there's gonna be too much stuff that people are going crazy for now with Supreme, man. You don't think people are gonna go too crazy? Well, yeah. Like in terms of like reselling, like trying to resell the shit. Yeah. Nah. I don't think so. Like, you know, back in the days, you can sell, you could resell. But now, I think if you want the piece, you know, you should be able to get it for pretty much retail if you, you know. Uh, I don't know if I'm bored with you on this one. For Supreme stuff? Certain Supreme stuff. Certain, I mean, okay. With the exception of, you know, what, uh, uh, box logos and like. Uh, the core stuff, yeah. Like Remoa, 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 Remoa. <laughs> Luggage, certain certain pieces, obviously you're gonna pay a tax for, but like certain T-shirts, dog, like people are unloading shit for retail, and that's the problem. I think like and that's not the problem with Supreme, but I feel like um, I still think they should change their logo because of all the fake stories. Nah, you guys look at me like I'm so crazy when I say this. I think it's a good idea, and I think it will be more valuable than the the shit now. The old stuff will come back and be worth more in time, mm-hmm. but if they do a rebrand like that, it will. Because it eliminates all the problems overseas with people stealing the trademark. Mm -hmm. Or not stealing because they don't have the trademark, so just blatantly ripping them off. There's A lot of problems get solved if they just change the box logo. And you could do it tastefully. I'm not even saying you have to change the font or, like, whatever. Like, you can keep it the same. You just switch it up. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I think because it's synonymous, man. It's like, I understand you can have a rebranding because a lot of people, you know. Yeah, but. People do it all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just. Nah, <laughs> this is a this is a, cr- a craft work hoodie that that has like a cone, like uh, that's supposed to be dropping. That looks that looks pretty high too. Oh yeah, it looks all right. We gotta see. I mean, once again, I mean, we gotta see what the lookbook you know is um is is coming out with, and um then I can make my uh my judgment on what the fuck is gonna be hot this season. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't wait for Snake Charmers to be walking around New York City now, though. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we, uh... What? What no, do you got? I was, um... I saw a leaked, uh, image of the, uh... Or there's supposed to be a Levi 6 coming out soon. Oh, yeah, the Levi 6 is coming out soon. That seems cool. Uh, I get That's a good follow-up to the 4 denim. Yeah, it is, but it's like, uh... Who gives a fuck? No, I... I <laughs> Bro, sometimes I look at a lot of these. Sometimes I look at these sneakers. And I'm just like, who gives a fuck? It's a cash grab for Jordan. Obviously, I'm at that stage now where it takes a lot for me to get hyped for a pair of sneakers. I didn't like the the, the Levi's fours. I didn't like the, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to be excited about the Levi's sixes either. That I, I what I do appreciate on uh, denim stuff is the story it tells after it's worn a lot. After it's worn, like you really when you really beat the shit out of a, like a something like those Levi fours, mm-hmm. I get tell it. It's more. Uh, you than it is a four now. You of know course. what I mean? Yeah, 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 I get it. You know, remember you got to remember certain people were 
were bleaching them, like having people yeah. like bleach them and, and distress them for them. And it's just like, wear your shits, man. Yeah, that's a. So I when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cool. It's better than like a mm-hmm. like a two or something. Like like four and fours and sixes are they f- complement each other well. Colors, like if you get a same colorways in a four and a six, it's pretty nice for the most part. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like those are good complements to each other, like follow ups for colorways. So that you know, shout out to Jordan for I guess seeing that. I don't know. You know what? We didn't get to talk about this last week, and I kind of—I don't know if you have any interest. We don't have to if you don't want to, but um, I guess Nike's new Joyride technology. Have you seen this? No, I have not. Explain it to me, Chris. So imagine you're at Chuck E. Cheese, mm-hmm. and there's the ball pit. Okay. You you look at the ball pit, and you're like, I wonder what would that would be if it was in the sole of my sneakers. That's what the Joyride is. Oh wow! So it sounds uncomfortable. No, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so let me pull this up here so you can see it. Tell but, me more. Nike made this technology, uh, and it's like their new one for this year, I guess. So you know how, like, when the React came out, we kind of broke down how they, uh, you know, this is like the new technology, this is the shoe, and then they'll incorporate mm-hmm. it and stuff later. Mm-hmm. I guess this is the new one. So you, as you can see, they have, like, beads in the sole. Mm-hmm. So it's like a ball pit shoe. Okay. Puma already had this, and they called it jamming. So Ooh. Puma jamming is the same exact thing as this Joyride shit. Ooh, Nike is still in. Uh, yeah, which of course. But what really bothers me is no one f- is fucking talking about it. It's a blatant ripoff, and no one's really pointing it out. Like, there's been some articles online, but like, how can you just get away with that? It's the same shit, dude. Nike is still in. Pumas goes through the whole sole, so it looks more like an aquarium than it does the, the ball pit. Mm-hmm. And Nike's is just in the heel, which, honestly, I like just in the heel better than the whole shoe. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, there's, there's no reason you should be able to do that. No, it's not. But, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I, okay, I see what you're talking about. Wow, that does look like a bouncy ball pit. Yeah, no, it's a ball pit in, in your sole. But it's like, yo, it's this. Come on. That's what that is. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. How did they just get away with doing this shit? So are we going to see a lawsuit here? Who so Is Puma going to have the balls to sue Nike? I mean, I've just never seen a blatant ripped off in technology like this before. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I've, all right. So the Air Force One Bapesta is a classic argument, which I don't know why Nike's never came a Bapesta or Bape I before that. that too. Huh? I've always wondered that. As yeah, well. it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you allow that? Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's shit like this where it's just like, come on, dude. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, I can't think of a blatant rip off like this. Uh, in a very long like, like Boost is different enough Like all the foams Are like mm-hmm. arguably the same But like mm-hmm. Aesthetically they're very different You know what no, I mean I But this it. is like Clearly Nike was just like Yo let's make our own ball pit Their marketing behind this Is so good though Damn Nike's marketing Is fucking Ni- That's Nike man What would you rather wear The Puma Joyrides Or the Oh the Nikes Yeah I don't like how this is, like, they're just doing this, though. I know technology and different, uh, you know, sneaker uh, appendages, hardware, get kind of tossed around. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous that they're... (laughs) Speaking of people that can get sued, fucking Reebok and Palace are doing a collab. And I think (laughs) King Virgil Abloh should be able to sue them. For what? Fucking stealing their designs, bro. Look at look at the you didn't see you didn't see the Palace Reebok? Yeah, I did. They're the workouts. It's kinda they they just have the it's like the color shit, right? Pa- uh Palace Reebok. They, yeah, it's the color block shit, right? It's just all black, all red, and all white, no? Vintage workout. Yeah, these joints. Bro, look at look at uh look at Virgil's Louis Vuitton's. And okay, and, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, because yes. those Louis Vuittons we've talked about those before. Those were like different appendages of a bunch of sneakers. Those are basically there threes. you go. So then Nike can sue Reebok and Virgil, and there we go, bro. I'm telling you, man. No one thinks of anything on their fucking own anymore. It's always a hash. I'm telling you, those bro, those shits definitely give me uh, Louis Vuitton if uh vibes no way yes they do no all right wait hold on let me pull yes, up these they louis fucking vuitton. Do. uh you think virgil louis vuitton will just come up uh you could do um uh, s- men's sneakers lv sneakers let's just try this fucking 
Oh, now actually, <laughs> actually, now that I'm looking at him, L, that's a good call, Come, dude. I, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I saw you talking about no. Yeah, it is definitely. It you definitely, put these were L first. These are a classic vintage Reebok model. Well, someone should be suing someone, and I don't know if Virgil and Virgil's probably stole from them, but I don't know. These give me they give me very similar vibes to each other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm looking. I'm looking back at these. Wow, he uh, maybe Virgil's a low key Bach boy. He ain't no Reebok boy. You don't know that. Stop yawning. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have ate a bagel. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, right? Yeah, man. Um, well, I'm trying to think if there's anything. I mean, is there pa- anything else you want to talk about? Pause for a second, and then we can just figure out the last couple okay. minutes. Well. Uh, something that Lawrence Lutz, why the fuck do I sound fake? Yo, something <laughs> that I'm hyped about, y'all, is the Maharishi uh, Air Max 90s that are set to release this week. Uh, Thursday, the 22nd. Yeah, via online raffle. So doesn't you know? So you, you people out there who want to tear up the store and, and ruin everything, not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, bro, these are very, uh, they're fire. Olive colorway. Those are a nice shoe. Uh. 100% organic cotton has been naturally dyed with such ingredients as pomegranate and t- turmeric, which turmeric is really good for your body. <laughs> and um, Nice. Yeah, this is this <laughs> coming from a guy who fucking takes turmeric. And, <laughs> I take turmeric, too. Yeah. I, I, need, <laughs> I, need, I need to take turmeric right now. I actually got I some. I have some turmeric. You want some? No, I got some in my bag. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I feel like you know this is another release in which New York we continue to eat. For those of you guys who are listening to other parts of the country, I'm very sorry. New York, we fucking eat. We eat all the time when it comes. Yo, to Idaho, this. suck it. Whoa, we whoa, in New York. Oh Jesus Christ, Chris! Why you have to tell them suck it? No, <laughs> I'm sorry, people, but New York continues to, to get a lot of things. There retails 150. Yo, if you look at these sneakers, man, they wait. Are, those retail is 150. Yeah, that's nice for 150. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah, those those would those you could sell those for 250, and people would still buy them. Mm, I don't know how much premium shit is on it, but yeah, I'm ex- I I do I am excited about those. What are you talking about? It's got turmeric, dude. Yeah, I know. It's a premium material right I there. I know. What is tu- turmeric? Uh, an Indian spice? Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um... We got these Indians out here wearing Supreme and lacing our Nikes with turmeric now. Mm. I thought it was more of a Spanish spice. No? I don't know. I'm stupid. I think tum- I think turmeric is an Indian spice. Now you got me. See, Chris, why do you always ask questions and then... <laughs> Oh God! Not know the answer. I hate when you do that shit, man. <laughs> I don't know what the what the answer is. Hold up. He's like, yo, what kind of what kind of spice is this? Um, now I'm on fucking Wikipedia. <laughs> Turmeric. Yeah, Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, so it's Indian spice. All right. Um, speaking of Indian spice, U.S. Customs. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Segway King. Yeah, they see thirty. <laughs> was it thirty-four mil? Uh, no, three point four mil. Three point four. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess some guy in LAX got caught, and he had like mad counterfeit shit. So it was probably on its way here, to be honest, to be sold on the streets of Soho. But three point four mil of fake shit off the streets now. Yeah, bro. I mean, listen. I told you guys before, I hate fakes. Yes. It's a passion of my life. I fucking hate them. I've, I've accidentally purchased a fake when I was in high school. Yes. Um, that watch. We, th- that watch that we've the discussed. The Technicolor? Is uh, that what? Uh, Techno Marine. Yeah, Techno Marine. That's what it is. I've gotten caught with a, I got a fake Movado. So, that dude, guys, don't. If you come to New York City, don't buy any fucking fake shit. Don't let your mom buy fake shit. Don't let your sister buy that fake shit. Because that goes into fucking Epstein shit. All the money that's spent on those fakes goes to, like, human trafficking and shit. So do not buy that shit. Yeah, I don't fuck with fake. I don't fuck with uh, counterfeit stuff. Yeah, no, don't do it. Customs are different. The only thing I want counterfeit is my drugs. I want counterfeit cocaine. No, you don't. I don't even do cocaine. <laughs> Why would you want? No, I don't want anything counterfeit. I don't fuck with counterfeits. But no, seriously, guys, on a serious <laughs> note, um, yeah, if you you know you can't afford it, don't don't stretch, don't don't buy anything fake, man. No, nah, man. 
Get the fuck out of here. There but no, I, that's that's fucking cool. I mean, I, what are they going to do with them? Uh, probably burn that shit. That's probably what they do. <laughs> they're going to do the same thing that Louis Vuitton does when they can't sell their their real shit. They're just going to burn it. Burn it. That's and who. That's who did that, right? Was Louis? I think Louis supposedly burns this shit. Yeah, they like we, they don't want to get into the, like a uh, secondary market, so they're just like, nah, we'll just burn it instead. Yep, <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, fucking, that's insane. Um, well, I think that's it. I think uh, there's nothing else really going on that we could talk about. I mean, shout out to opening ceremony for doing a collab with Skechers. That's, I guess, Skechers suck. Mm-hmm. Top five worst sneaker brands. Before we go, I can't think off the top of my head. You could do that one. I don't. I, um, Skechers is up there. Skechers, uh, yeah, man, I don't know if I can do this now. We'll think about it in... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it next time. I have my eyes closed right next. I don't want to look him in his face because I'm upset. Like, don't... He always, top five, dead or alive, right now. Oh, man, I don't even know the answer to that myself. Oh, jeez, Chris. <laughs> it's Skechers, and then it's Champion, and then it's Joe Budden. <laughs> We want to thank you guys for listening to Sub Podcast episode uh, number seventy five. Seventy five and seventy, yeah, seventy five A and B. It's gonna be a two parter. Oh yeah, it's another two parter. So, uh, reason this is two parter is uh, what you're. You gone? don't have to, you don't even have to tell the people going, why we're why is the two. Well, no, I'm gonna be in Portland. I want to let them know I'm in Portland. Oh, all right, cool. And yeah. I'm I'm gonna be out here uh, rapping. I'm in a battle rap competition. Yeah, he's gonna week. go to uh, Detroit and go to the um, what's that place called? Eight Mile. Yeah. You're gonna go down to eight mile. What if I didn't know where eight, what if I didn't know the answer to that? You was like, What's that place called? I'd be like, I don't know. I would have figured out the shelter. See, I got there. Oh, Jesus. I don't Christ. always need you to help me. I can oh, get there by myself God. sometimes. <laughs> Episode seventy five A and B. Uh at not that Cheney, uh C H E N E Y at L Z D three two five at sub podcast NYC. You can email us at subpodcast nyc at gmail dot com. Uh, yo, we also have a fucking phone number. I don't know if you guys fucking knew that. But we have a phone number you can call. It is 1-908-299-6910. If you, can, if you call, we will not pick up, but you can leave a voicemail for me and Lawrence. You can text that number, and we will look at it. And uh, I'll go to the subreddit. Uh, sub, uh, Reddit, uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, reddit.com slash r slash sub podcast and also i want to give a big shout out to baron von fancy he made me and l um a print of his type if you don't know who this is go to at baron von fancy you've probably seen him around uh girls like his artwork a lot um he's the fucking man though i've done side projects with him and shit um but he gave us his stylings of the podcast name which is fucking fire. Yeah, it's fire. And we appreciate you for that. No, that shit, is, that shit is sick. Thank you very much. That you know that just means the world to us because we, we are growing. And uh, we hope to continue to grow to the point where President Obama comes on and talks about uh, sneakers. <laughs> yeah, <Man>. let's get... <laughs> Imagine me and you and Obama. And, and 5,000 Secret Service guys. Yes. Uh, it's hilarious. With that being said, we're out of here. Uh, make sure you uh, rate, give us five stars. Donate to our, our Patreon. and um, Yeah, go to the Patreon. Go look at the bonus episode. We're going to have more. I'm going to be in Portland. I'm going to be on Nike campus getting one. While you're listening to this, I'm talking to a Nike guy right now with this fucking headset. So fucking go there and give us some shit. All right? All right. Peace. Peace.